my first guest is culinary royalty. She's a best-selling author, philanthropist, and won a People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Chef for her Emmy Award-winning daytime show, Rachel Ray. <laughs> built a food empire for herself and started in 2002 as host of a Food Network show. And today, her own show is in its 16th season. And that's a ride, let me tell you. From her kitchen in upstate New York, please welcome for the first time to the Tan Fam, Rachel Ray. <laughs> Here we are finally together in your home, in your show, in your Thank you look amazing. And Breakfast at Tiffany's is one of my favorite, Yay! favorite, favorite movies of all time. Uh, and I love that you're doing this. I'm a fan, you know that. And you're making deep dish ricotta frittata tie-dye pizza? It is a pizza where the crust is not crust, it's eggs. But we're actually gonna start out with this sauce. Okay. It's vodka pasta sauce. Oh, you said so vodka, so I'm gonna strip vodka. down out of my gloves. Yes. <laughs> and so, we're making, here we go. We're making a BLD, and for me, a BLD is a meal that you can serve for breakfast, lunch, or late night dinner. Okay. For the vodka sauce, we're going to put in about a quarter cup of onion. Okay. Into a tablespoon of olive oil and butter. Melt that together, cook it very low and slow, low and slow with a little salt so it mushes out. Okay. What I just added was half a cup of vodka. Oh, that's what I have here. They gave me that. You are making vodka sauce. Yes. Now, when we cook with spirits, most of the alcohol burns off. Mm -hmm. Most all of it evaporates, right. okay? So we have to reduce that out first. Oh. Once that reduces out, we have to add tomato. I'm told you have um, a way of slicing tomatoes. That's a good Correct. tip for everyone. Now, this is fun. You pack a deli lid with like a dozen cherry tomatoes. Got it. Take a sharp knife and cut straight across. Oh, Done. wow. 12 at a time, right? It does work. Oh. We add our fresh tomatoes. Uh-huh. And right. we shake that out, and we put a lid on just for a bit to collapse the tomatoes. We make them go like this, okay? Okay. <laughs> Once they get through hot yoga, we add a little bit of tomato passata or sauce. Okay. Tomato passata is made from raw, ripe tomatoes, no sugar. I've never used that before. Is that readily available? It is in every grocery store, and it's... About three cups. It's not oh. a full quart. Okay. I have some a little bit already cooked off here. I do too. They gave me some already made. The last thing we do is add a little bit of cream and basil. If you like things spicy, I do. We put in a pinch of red pepper. I like okay? spicy. All right. So back over here, we have 10 eggs and you poke the yolks. Whenever we put eggs into a bowl, Cameron, every time you crack eggs into a bowl, uh -huh. either do it in a little dish and add it to the bowl, or when you crack them in, if you get shell in, right. take the larger piece of shell and put it next to the baby piece of shell, shell goes back to shell. It runs home. That's why you're so special. I have to tell you, I love your food, but you have practical home tips that make cooking Thank you, easy baby. and effortless. That is I, it's a true. Wonderful it's true. Compliment. So now I just added a cup of fresh ricotta cheese I because I'm here. using 10 eggs. Okay. Now 12 eggs, I put in a little bit more, a couple spoonfuls more. We're gonna also add in Parmigiano Reggiano, just oh. a fat handful, okay? So I it's salt, pepper, eggs, ricotta, uh -huh. and parm. And then we take it to the pan. And pour it Again, in. It is oh my goodness. one egg per inch. Okay. Now listen, guys, this is important. There's a loose pesto oh. that I made in this squirt bottle, okay? It is pistachios, lemon juice, a little splash of water, right. some garlic. There's garlic in the front there, a little bit of cheese, and basil. Never, ever, ever put basil in the fridge. Keep it on the counter. Oh, here's another tip. I did not know that. Cut like fresh flowers. 
and keep it in a little greenhouse. What? And you zip it up in the food processor, put it in a plastic bag, and put it in a squirt bottle. We're making tie-dye pizzas. Right. So this is our tie-dye. Oh. You can also just thin out grocery store purchased pesto to right. make the tie-dye. Once this sets, it goes in the oven, and then we top it with the vodka sauce, and then we top it with the cheese. Okay, when we come back, we are topping Rachel Frittata for breakfast at Emma's. Focused on my favorite meal of the day with one of my favorite cooks on TV, the one and only Rachel Ray. And Rachel, you were walking us through. All right, guys. A breakfast dish that serves so many purposes. It's your deep dish ricotta frittata tie dye pizza that you can have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even if you wake up in the middle of the night and want a snack, it lives on. That is it. I'm gonna switch out my frittata. Now we have mozzarella on top, and we have our yes. vodka. Sauce. The, a little of the vodka sauce. Okay. And then you put the extra mozzarella on top. How long do you leave it in the oven, Rachel? Just until the mozzarella browns like this, and okay. then you have to let this set or it'll just fall apart on you. Can I be nosy then since we're here and we're waiting on your frittata? Tell me about the kitchen. Yes. How many spatulas do you own? I only show you the one container, but there's like three more around the corner. And there's two drawers full. Two and drawers. that's in a rebuilt house. Oh my god. I have god. more spatulas than I can throw a spatula at. Okay, let me, okay, okay, I'm just gonna tell you, this is when I'm watching the show, this is what I do at home. I'm like, Rachel, in my head, as if you can hear me, how many pepper grinders do you have? I'm, every time I watch a show, I try to count. <laughs> it's true. Again, it's so funny. It's so funny. Again, it, it, all of these things were replaced. Really? Were all of yeah, them were replaced. Yeah, all of these things were replaced in gifts from friends Aww. when we when we when we rebuilt. Um, so everything here means something. It meant Aww. something before the fire. Yeah. It means more now after Aww. a rebuild. And working from home, I think that's why people still love it. I mean, yeah. we've been back in this home since just before Christmas, and People still want us to continue doing work from here. I think the reason people enjoy it is that there's, well, there's just the two of us. Well, if you if you need an extra body, I have a three-year-old, and he can sort out, you know, stuff. And, and I, I will, you know, I am my mother's daughter, <laughs> and just like she did to me, I will put a three-year-old to work. <laughs> you want that three-year-old to get trained, Send him to mama. <laughs> okay, how's the frittata going? Let's see. Okay. We'll see. Okay, frittata, don't, don't be finicky. Oh! What? Oh! Oh, I lost a little in the middle. Oh! And that's the, that's the beauty of it. And then you just swirl that and make a little tie-dye. And there's your tie-dye pot. So I'm going to uh, try this delicious, yummy frittata. Oh my God, Rachel, this is delicious. And you know how my body started moving? It's a pizza. Rachel, you are a wonderful person, a wonderful human. I am so happy to see you rebuilding the kitchen better than ever, but most important, you, with beautiful gifts from friends who respect and love you as we all do. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, baby. And you can find Rachel's recipe and everything we're making on our website, TamaronHalso.com.